Hi friends, this is Muhammad Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a knuckle joint in KTV5. On the right side you can see the complete design of the knuckle joint being assembled together and on the left side you can see the different drawings including the dimensions of uh, the knuckle joint parts. So the fork end of the road, the eye end of the road, the pin and the collar. So in this tutorial I'll be showing how you can assemble all of the parts together. Uh, previous tutorials I've shown you how you can design each of the parts in uh, different tutorials. Alright, I'll just open up assembly design workbench and insert existing component with positioning and click on the product. So once you click on the product you get the uh, different list of uh, what do you call the uh, parts. So I'll just insert the fork under the road first and fix component. I'll give the fix component and click OK and that component is fixed so when you insert a part the first part it's better if you uh, insert a part fix it so that uh, the design will be consistent now I'll just go for insert existing component with positioning product and insert the next part the I end of the road in this case just go for uh, coincidence right I'll click OK. Now insert contact constraint and give a contact constraint here and update and we got updated there. The next thing is insert existing component with positioning and the pin has to be inserted coincidence coincident click on OK use the snap or oh, not the snap use the manipulate command sometimes it's really helpful you know just pull it backwards and use the contact constraint to pull them all together and update it now insert existing component with positioning and insert the collar coincidence the uh, insert and contact contact constraint edit update so we got that through here and the final component which we are going to insert is the taper pin. Insert existing component with positioning and the taper pin. Just use the coincident again and click OK and use so uh, I just want to mention one thing so I'll just delete this taper pin. Insert existing component with positioning Taper pin. Automatic constraint creation has to be enabled. So I haven't enabled it uh, on the previous parts. So when you're doing it, please enable it. Update. Insert. And move. Manipulate in the z-axis. And that's it the complete assembly of uh, the knuckle joint is being done. If you have any doubts you can uh, comment on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you. If you want me to handle any CAD projects I can handle it. You can uh, write to me at ketia.prorotuser at gmail.com regarding that. And that's all and if you have any tutorial suggestions if you want me to create any tutorials on any topic you can write to me about that too. And that's all. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.